everyone, it is me, Shadra Strickland. I am um, here today to teach you how to make an accordion book, like so. An accordion. Um, I'm taking this activity from a book that I've used for many years uh, in, in my bookmaking uh, adventures. <laughs> this is Creating Handmade Books. And the author of this book is Alyssa Golden. Um, I bought this book when I was a teenager. So here's to the uh, the power of a great book. This is still available in bookstores and on Amazon.com and check out IndieBound. Um, also, you know, to try and find this book at your local booksellers. So we're working from page 25, which teaches you how to make a simple accordion book. Um, a lot of times teachers don't have certain specialty papers and glues and um, thread that sort of thing in their classrooms on hand but if you want to make a very quick easy no must no fuss structure for kids to use as a sketchbook uh, to use as a picture book to use as you know little journals or what have you this is a perfect structure for that um, a lot of times I use this in activities where I'm teaching children how to how to order images and how to tell stories without words um, and this is a great activity for those students who have a hard time with writing who may not be as confident with their writing and spelling as some other kids so this is this is great and and when you have a student who gets really excited about being able to tell a story and have it make sense with just pictures it's just it's fantastic so you start with a blank sheet of paper this is just typing paper you can use construction paper if you like um, if you want to be more artistic and collage things in you can use newspaper any any type of paper will do um, first you start by folding the paper like a hot dog and students get really excited to fold like hot dogs and hamburgers and such and this is great for right before lunch because they can go ahead and eat after um, so after that you fold it like a hamburger And then you fold it like a hamburger again, like so. Now, once you have your folds, you unfold your booklet and you're going to moisten the edge with your tongue. So you're gonna mo moisten the folded edge with your tongue and uh, make sure that students, you don't have to get extra moist with licking the paper because you don't want it to tear completely you just want just enough along the edge so that it tears easily okay now when you are tearing it is important that you do not tear the paper completely in half you're going to stop right here at the third the end of the third square so you got to be careful in tearing this All right, and now you have two legs, a walking structure. Um, after this, you're going to fold it back in half on the fold, but leave those legs free, and you're going to make an accordion. So you fold the paper back on itself, then you fold it forward, flip it over, you're gonna fold it back, forward, and back. And you have a book that opens like so. So when students are then using their book to tell their story, they can use the front cover, then they have, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages on one side, then it flips over, one, two, three, four pages on the other side. Um, in, some, in some instances I've taken a poster board or thin illustration board and cut out squares to size and let the kids design a separate cover for the book and then just glue it on with um, a glue stick because Elmer's, El well, you can use Elmer's but you know it gets a little gloppy. Um, you can also water it down and paint it on and then have them adhere the poster board to the front and the back of the book. Um, so that's it. Thank you so much. I hope that this demonstration comes in handy at home, uh, in your classrooms. Kids, if you ever want to make a little sketchbook for yourself to go out and draw in, this is perfect. Um, you can send little notes, you know, in this structure to your friends and little greeting cards if you want to make something more sophisticated. This is perfect for that. Um, what have I been working on? Everything. <laughs> Lots of painting and drawing, working on books. I'm publishing my first fine art. 
print from Lips Every Voice and Sing, which is here. This is a mock-up of it, but the original will be brighter and, and bigger and bolder. I will also be sharing with you a few lesson plans in January for Our Children Can Soar so that you can help use this book to um, in, in your Black History Month activities. Um, so look for that on my website uh, coming up in February. Now, that, that's it. For, before I go, uh, the music that you heard in the background is from Charles Duke. Uh, that song was called Cruise Control, so check him out. He's really fantastic. Thank you so much for, for listening, and uh, I hope that you enjoy creating and writing and making stuff and uh, reading books. Take care.